What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Lee Fang. Oh, what's up guys? I'm not sure if you just what, what's going on, but anyways, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm back here with another beer review. This is gonna be part of a series. I'm not sure how long it's gonna go. Uh, it's gonna go until I guess I either lose interest or it doesn't, you know, no one watches it. But it seems like a couple people watched it. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the comments. That was really cool. I don't know really what one guy was talking about, something about a green bottle. I don't even remember that. I'm so sorry, but uh, you can always uh, ask me again for, you know, clarification on anything that might be confusing in these videos because I am an amateur when it comes to these reviews. But at the same time, I do like a good Good, nice cold beer so I think that's just enough you know as anyone would need to be qualified to make a video for you know a channel like this so let's get into it um, today we're gonna be checking out the Sapporo I am out in front of uh, my friend's crib or, um, in their backyard uh, I have uh, in this green uh, you know bag a beautiful oh my god it's so cold too so if you want to zoom in on that you can see um this is the original sapporo beer all the labeling is in english as it is a fresh import it says that it is 12 fluid ounces uh which um you know if you're a british or something no not british if you're european it would be 355 milliliters and this is um regardless of your country 4.9 alcohol per volume um so sapporo beer is a premium beer it is brewed and of course Sapporo which is the capital of Hokkaido Japan can you stop moving the camera so much I it's kind of like freaking me out like just like keep it in one place thank you thank you just keep it still just keep it still nice and still thank you um, <laughs> and then uh yeah there there's some other information on here that isn't too important it just says some like um you know legal stuff like according to a certain general woman should not drink alcohol beverages blah 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 um and on the top it has the classic cap a star um which i guess um yeah not all companies you know can really have a star as their logo and that really hold up i think um you need to kind of like have a good reputation uh amongst drinkers so Sapporo is very famous in japan and it is definitely known in the u.s uh, even though you might have to go out a little out of your way to find it in some places, depending on where you live. Um, I would say that uh, it's probably easier to find at like maybe um, a Japanese restaurant, like a sushi place, or uh, maybe even um, like a beer store. But uh, you're probably not going to find this in some states where they serve it at, per, let's say, a gas station, right? So it really depends. Um, but luckily there's quite a few of these where i live which is east coast cities so um yeah no problem there and it is yeah definitely what i remember you know a cold can of sapporo or cold glass sorry so i'm gonna crack this open now um you know normally you would probably i would recommend uh having a uh what's it called glass to serve it in i think this that per, per, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the best way to serve this would probably be in a uh, glass. But, um, you know, no worry about that. Let's, let's get into it. So, you can see it's not like overly carbonated or anything, just a little bit of bubbles on the top. Kind of reminds me of like when a crab is breathing for air. Uh, so that is, um, yeah, it's very pretty to look at. It's a very nice, like, brown, uh, golden color, orange. And, uh, yeah. Let's get into this. Cheers, y'all. Mmm. <laughs> yes. This is, like... I can't say mathematically this makes sense, but this is probably a thousand times better than the bush ice um, and 10,000 times better than the bush light. Uh, <laughs> this is a very nice beer. It could have been better if it was maybe served on a draft or, um, you know, if it was, um, I don't know, like a specialty Sapporo beer. I don't know if this exists, but either way, the original Sapporo is a premium beer and it lives up to the name. I am enjoying this. Cheers. <sighs> yeah. 
yeah it just makes you want to like kick back honestly like it's the kind of beer that is good to drink with probably friends um or maybe while you're watching something i think those are two like situations that i would enjoy it it would definitely go good with some meat or maybe some peanuts Now, just as a reminder, this is 4.9 alcoholic uh, out percent alcohol. So basically, um, by the time I'm done with this, I'm expecting to feel a little bit of a buzz. But, you know, it's not like a super strong beer. Um, it's just um, a very, uh, I think this is a lager, right? Sapporo is a lager. I'm going to double check that on the internet. But um, I'm pretty sure it's a lager. And uh, yeah, it's, um, it just has like a very nice taste. And I would say that it has almost like it doesn't have much of a body like the 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 bush light the bush drinks like they definitely have sort of a watery body to it like it, it I, if i didn't have taste buds it would just taste like water but the thing is because with this it's more like a beer it has a beer texture it's very bubbly you can kind of have like it has like a little bit of like a because you know they use barley and and, and beer now it's not like um it's still like very um, processed, of course, but it's just a very like smooth feeling. And yeah, um, I don't. Um, we're not gonna. Sh we're not gonna show behind the cameraman, but I will just describe what I'm seeing. It's a very pretty day out. It's very blue skies. Oh well, he's showing it anyways. And uh, yeah, honestly. There's nothing really that's better than drinking a Sapporo outside. I mean, drinking it like at a bar is definitely like a good circumstance, right? Like you're lucky if you have one at the bar. Definitely want to drink that as one of your drinks that night. But if you're outside, I feel like this could be the move for the night. Like instead of like drinking a bunch of different beers, you could just drink a bunch of Sapporos and you'd be good. And yeah, I'm gonna um, finish off with the rating before we uh, end this video. Um, I'm going to give it on a score from one to 10, an 8.5. It is, I wanted to give it a nine, but for some reason, I think that because it's in a bottle and maybe just, um, it might just because it might just be because I haven't had a full day of work. Beer tends to taste better after you've had a long, um, tire tiring day. So if I was tired, it would probably be more like a nine. But because I had a lot of sleep, I'm feeling good today. Maybe it's an eight point five, if that makes any sense. But yeah, it's really good. Um, I definitely recommend trying this out if you are uh, an adult. And um, yeah. I'm, that's going to be the next uh this is my third video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one peace y'all